examples of, um, you know, just like, just this clarity, right? Communication and just like, like, you know, like a, like calls to action, right? Uh, whether it's external or internal, right? Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started. And uh, to get started, um, I would just love it if we can, uh, you know, get some names popping, get familiar with each other. Um, say your uh, the your preferred pronouns, and um, what are you hoping to take away from the workshop? Uh, what is something that you've been doing to support yourself through the pandemic? And uh, yeah, like you know how you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So just a second like that. So anybody can go anytime. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Elliot, and I uh, use he, him, his pronouns. And uh, what I'm hoping to get out of the uh, workshop is some some more inspiration for my writing. I'm really working on writing things that are more positive and affirming to myself. And sometimes in the past, I think I've been a little negative in my writing, so it's something I want to change. And um, just getting some stuff out of it personally for myself too. And uh, I'm doing good. Um, yeah, I'm having a good night. Fresh. Thank you so much for sharing that, Elliot. And also like so, so hype for you to be writing more positive things, right? Mm -hmm. But also like, just like, you know, maybe things, and it's like, I don't know, there's like negative and positive and I feel that's very black or white, right? But yes. like, you know, like I, I feel like it's like it's super important to understand and believe that work doesn't only come from those dark places, right? right. Or like you know what I mean. So shouts out to you. You know what I mean. We're gonna be doing a lot of that, and I'm glad you're here. Thanks. Fresh. All right. Hi, y'all. Um, I'm Valentina. Hello. Um, I'm so honored and excited to be here tonight. Um, I use she, her, Aja pronouns, and um, I'm, I love affirmations. Um, and at the same time, I think that sometimes I, um, like, I think it's one thing to say affirmations, write affirmations, but to actually feel it to your core and believe them is a whole nother thing. So, um, just thinking about that. Um, and one beautiful thing I'd like to share that has helped me feel alive um, during the pandemic and feel sane is just feeding myself and cooking. So I took some sancocho this uh, break and that was amazing. Also, sorry, my radiator's going crazy over here, but I'm happy to be here, y'all. Wow, I haven't heard a radiator knocking so long. <laughs> like, I miss it. It, makes, it, it. it for real, for real reminds me of like my grandparents' crib, like just straight up home. Like, shout out to that radiator. Shout out to you. Shout out to San Culture. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you for being here and thank you for sharing that. Definitely, like, I feel like there's like there, like people are talking about making banana bread all the time and just like making like bread from scratch. And I'm like, Really? Like, you know what I mean? But for real, like feeding yourself is like the ultimate, like, like, I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't cook, you know what I mean? Or if like my boo can cook, like, you know what I mean? Uber eating it every day, <laughs> right? So yeah, thank you, Valentina. Sancocho sounds some good. <laughs> I just made some caldo de res the other day. So like, I mean, after the next week. Um, <laughs> um, my name is Matthew Maroquin. I use he, him, his, and what am I doing here? Um, I've been trying to work on like rewriting, you know, like rewrite what I'm like saying type of stuff so I don't like self-deprecate all the time when I'm talking. So I've been trying to work on that rewrites, you know, got to do more than just writing for my life, writing just, you know, all this other stuff. But something to keep saying during this pandemic, I've been going to a lot of... Um, open mics that's what i've been doing with nuyo and with other ones too and just like 
traveling around. <laughs> Zoom wise, traveling around. <laughs> Cause like, even this one, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Zoom. Cause like, I live in the middle of a cornfield <laughs> in the middle of the US. <laughs> That's so fresh. Thank you so much, Matthew. Thank you for being here. And like, yo, like, what? Like, I, I've been telling people, like, like the internet's the best passport. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to go anywhere, like, you know what I mean? Just log in, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, shouts out to you. I'm happy that you're here. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Really excited. I hope to hear some poems about cornfields. You know what I mean? And like maybe something that like like I don't know. I feel like people I feel like people will say like talk crazy about cornfields or talk crazy about like the middle of the country. And I'm like, I've never I, I want to see a cornfield. Like <laughs> I wanna I wanna be around animals. No. I want I wanna be around crops, you know what I mean? No, like you know. I don't. No. <laughs> I want to get lost like in the movies. <laughs> Yo, and I'm from Iowa, and you can legit drive like three hours straight without seeing another town, just fields for three hours straight if you want to. Yo, I got to get a license first, but <laughs> I heard it. I'm from New York, y'all. I don't know what y'all talk about. <laughs> you drive? No. Nah. Thank you, Matthew. Hi. My name is Emily. Oh, did I did I speak over someone? It's okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Emily. I use she and her pronouns. And I just about a month ago joined a writer's group in Denver. I'm in Colorado. And this workshop came highly recommended to a member of that group. So I'm just hoping to get some knowledge out of this group and just trying to expose myself to as many groups as I can. I'm I just started doing some creative writing and poetry, and I've never really committed myself to that, but always wanted to. Something good that came out of the pandemic for me or how I kept myself sane was I'm a teacher. So last year, as everybody knows, the schools shut down and we had to teach online classes. We're back in person now for the most part, but going online pushed my teaching to a different level. And I don't know that I ever would have gotten there. Um, it's sad to me that in order to get my teaching to a new level, it was had to be such a tragic circumstance. But I do feel like my students this year have reaped a lot of benefits from the, the, the new things that I've learned in teaching and, and just being a better educator and being there for our kids. Thank you for sharing that, Emily. And Thank like, you. shouts out to you and the other educators in the room. I know some of us are in here, you know what I'm saying? um yeah and like you know we can we can only imagine like if it's hard for us how is it for our students you know what i'm saying so hard um so, so you hard. know shouts out to you for like stepping up to the plate you know what i mean and like doing your doing the best you can by yourself and your students this year thank you, know you. I mean? yeah for sure for sure thank you and yeah also i'm excited that you know, like i love when people are like yeah i'm, I'm just getting I'm new to this writing thing and da, da, da. I'm like, yes, let's go. Yeah. Let's let's make it pop in. Like here, let, let's here. like like let's debunk all the myths about what writing is and like, you know, find our voices. Let's get it. Like, so yeah. I'm Great. glad you're Thank here. You. I'm glad you're glad here. to be here. Thank you. And, and shouts out to Denver. I got mad homies in Denver. <laughs> you yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. So I'm good. not in I'm I'm about two and a half hours from Denver, but it, right. it is home. Yeah. Right, right. Thanks. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Prima. I am um, pronoun she, her. I'm actually joining you from like thousands of miles away from Malaysia. Uh, it's actually 8 a.m. here, 8, 12 a.m. here. I'm joining, I, I decided to join because I just want to get inspired to write more. Uh, I'm also a beginner, so I'm just trying to get you know, as much inspiration as possible from talking to people, others who are writing and also joining open mics and things like that. So yeah, thank you for having me. And hi Prima, thank you for joining the workshop. I'm so glad to hear that, you know, it's also gonna be new for you. And that you're just looking for more inspiration because like, you know, I hope to like just facilitate workshops that anybody can take. You know what I mean? Like, and again, like, I'm, I'm glad that people are new, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you don't need to have any particular level or skill to participate in a class to feel confident in your like to feel like like you can share your work like all those things are not real like you are welcome here everyone is welcome here your voices are welcome here your thoughts are welcome here you know and like let's just understand that we all have something to contribute right because we are coming to a writing workshop to write but it's not like you are only a writer right you're a whole person you know what i mean you did a whole bunch of things today before you came on here you did a whole bunch of things in your life before you signed on to this workshop you know what i mean so i also just want to encourage everyone and uh let everyone know that like i feel like bringing all of you is how we get the most work done like in workshop and in life you know what i mean just being as as full of bringing being so full of yourself as possible in a positive way right people are like oh you're so full of yourself and it's like yeah i'm full of myself i'm blessed you know what i mean like <laughs> like i'm alive like what's popping you know what i mean so um yeah uh thank you so much primo for sharing so yeah thank you I believe uh, we have one more person. Oh, hi. I'm Kevin Pasquale. I use uh, he, him. And today I'm here for, um, well, occasionally I was here for uh, an assignment today. So I'm trying to experience like what the workshop is and like how it works and stuff like that. I'm not here for any particular reason to write or anything like that. I'm just here for just to listen in and just, I don't know, just see what's like, you know, how to, just, I guess, like, what the workshop is, I guess. So, yeah. Work. All good. Happy to hear you're here, Kevin. And, you know what I mean? Slam is also popping. Uh, I love uh, I love what Slam can do for writers, right? Because I feel like uh, coming up, I felt like Slam was what pushed me as a writer and a performer. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy you're here. And hopefully you get some from this workshop that you could maybe put on a stage or, you know what I mean? share at an open mic soon, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, happy you're here, Sam. And we have a new person who just joined. Oh, uh, what we're doing right now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I did that, <laughs> like, <laughs> let you know. Uh, so uh, just say, uh, if you can let, let us know uh, your name, uh, preferred pronouns, and uh, what, do you hope to get out of the workshop? And what is something that you've been doing to support yourself through the pandemic? Because we, we're going right, to write right into it. <laughs> we're going to write to it. That's, that's okay. We can jump right into it. Martina McGowan, um, she, they, and I'll put those on eventually. Um, what do I hope to gain? I hope to um, you know, get better at writing and communicating. Um, what have I been doing to get through the pandemic? I've been blessed. Um, I actually have a book coming out next month. It's my mm. first. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a miracle. <laughs> so I want to I want to get better at the at the craft, even though I've, I've had that blessing in my life. Mm, that's so good. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on the book. Um, hopefully there uh, will be a link where people can either pre-order or support in some way in the in the chat at some point if you're comfortable with that you know what I mean um I am and I will do that <laughs> absolutely absolutely I'm um, getting more comfortable with it how about that <laughs> right nice nice we gotta it's we gotta we gotta try we gotta practice mm -hmm. um and we we are worthy of sharing the work that we put in you know what I mean so yeah Thank you for being here. And yeah, I think I think we got a good group of folk. I know we got a good group of folk and I'm really excited. Um, so uh, to just start the workshop off, right? I like to do um, like really like just start off with like some check-ins and then like some call them like low risk writing prompts or just some like free writes, some really quick free writes, uh, short, quick free writes. Um, and uh, that is a title. Absolutely, that is a title. Um, <laughs> I am the reason. Yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, um, I would love it if uh, for, I'll set a timer for about, let's go like five minutes. Um, set a timer for five minutes. And for five minutes, uh, 
I want you to start uh, just with, um, I show up for myself by dot, 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 or I show up for my loved ones by dot, 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 right? And just write on from there. Um, also, uh, I also like to just say that like, like these writing prompts, any prompts, take them as you will. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to force yourself to do anything in particular. Um, and you know, uh, what is a poem? Words on a page, right? Like, <laughs> don't worry. Like you don't have to think about meter or doing the thing. You know what I'm saying? Just, I, I, I say that in free rights, I focus on being as honest as I can and um, just writing what comes to me without stopping, right? And uh, Jewel Porter Diaz, also known as DJ Renegade, is like, uh, if you're thinking, you're not writing, right? So when that, when that pen hits the paper, just let it go. You know, don't hesitate, don't think too much, just, just go off. So yeah, I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and we'll check back in in five. Hello, Patrick. Uh, I will be dropping the prompts in the group chat and we can do your intro when we come back.
we have about another 15 seconds. So just find a good ending point and we keep it moving. And we're back. Um, also, what you just wrote isn't anything that you have to share. Or just something to get the blood flowing, get to stretching, you know, working out that pen, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, we have more people. Awesome, fantastic, fantastic. Um, yes. Uh, so, uh, Marilyn. Is, is that how I say it? I'm sorry. Mary Lynn? Okay. It's uh, Mary. Huh? Say it? Yes, Mary Lynn. Oh, hi, Mary Lynn. Hi, Patrick. Um, hi. Uh, whenever, uh, would uh, either of you go first? Oh, Mary Lynn, since you're already unmuted, that'd be great. Um, uh, if you can just say uh, your name, uh, your preferred pronouns, and uh, what is something you're hoping to get out of the workshop and what is something you've been doing to support yourself through the pandemic? Oh, wow. Uh, right. Yeah, like I let people know, I was like, we're yeah. going right into it. <laughs> we're getting okay. right to it. I'm just Marilyn. Um, I have, I really can't come to the workshops because they're on Tuesdays, it looks like. And mm -hmm. so, but I was really curious. So I wanted to come tonight my class for Tuesday doesn't start till next week. Okay, um, okay. So any Tuesdays I'm off, I think I'll try to make it here because I, I've been trying to write a lot, read a lot, just, I've been doing art. I've been doing anything I can to keep myself busy during the nice. pandemic. Nice, nice. Word. Well, thank you so much for being here. I wish you could you could come more often, but you know, whenever you're here, of course you're welcome. And you know, hopefully you get some good, some good art out of this workshop today. All right, thank you. Oh, and something to work with, right? Because like what like what is good art? Like to me, like like I've heard other people say, like good art is art that communicates, right? Art that expresses something and gets something across. So if you if you say in the words, like you're doing the thing, you know what I'm saying? So thank you again so right. much for being here. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Patrick. Hello, I'm Patrick. Uh, he, him. Um, a friend of mine texted me a few minutes past six my time. I'm in Minnesota, uh, saying that this was happening and that she thought I should join. So <laughs> that's how I got here. Um, and during the pandemic, uh, what gets me through is going for walks. <laughs> Mm. outside nice nice great thank you so much patrick and you know shout out to your friend and all the friends who have recommended people to be here um yeah i'm just i'm just really excited and so stoked um so uh like i said before we'll be looking at some pieces um oh like one piece each by anderson pack uh lucille clifton and audrey lord um and we're just gonna jump right into uh, Anderson Pack. Um, it's a video that I felt was everything I needed um, in the middle of last year. Um, like after, uh, like there's already a pandemic and then police didn't stop like murdering black people. So it was just a lot. <laughs> and I was like, where is the thing that I need to feel like I'm not losing it? And um, this song was that for me. And uh, it was like just everything I needed at the moment. And uh, hopefully uh, it does something for you as well. Um, just really, I feel like it was just like very transparent about what was happening in the times, right? And um, there, there's that clip of like Nina Simone saying like, uh, like that is my duty to reflect the times, right? And I felt like this song did exactly that. And um, yeah, I am going to share my screen. Uh, 
and share my sound. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. Also, it starts with like a screaming, uh, just so y'all are aware. Don't want to like shock anybody too hard. It was a lockdown. They opened the fire. Them bullets was flying. Who said it was a lockdown? Goddamn lie. Oh my, time heals all, but you out of time now. Judge gotta watch us from the clock tower. Little tear gas cleared the whole place out. I'll be back with the hazmat for the next round. We was trying to protest and the fires broke out. Look out for the secret agents, they be planted in the crowd. Set a civil unrest, but you sleep so sound like you don't hear the screams when we catching beat down. Staying quiet when they're killing niggas, but you speak loud when we ride. Got opinions coming from a place of privilege. Sicker than the COVID, how they did them on the ground. Speaking of the COVID, is it still going around? Why won't you tell me about the looting? What's that really all about? Cause they throw away black lives like paper towels plus unemployment rate. What? 40 million now, killed a man in broad day, might never see a trial. We just want to break chains like slaves in the South. Started in the North End, but we in the downtown. Riot cops try to block, now we got a showdown. Down. You should have been downtown. The people are rising. We thought it was a lockdown. They opened the fire. The bullets are flying. YouTube, dog, look how they do us. Knee on our necks, bullets and backs, stimulus checks, strictly for blacks. History repeating, people scared to eat a chicken. Everybody going vegan, what they put in it. Look at the world we live in, they got a shook in it. You go on your jog, then your color might get you took in it. The man in the mirror can't look away, you gotta look at it. Black lives matter, so what it means when they shoot at it? Generation genocide, what happened to enterprise? Heard the man infiltrated, Black Panther re energized, ain't nothing to figure out. They trying to kill us out. If I take a nail, see my fist, I'm a killer now. Just think, bullshit, you gotta filter out. Are you really ready for the smoke like a Swisher house? Ready for the revolution? Who ready to ride? It won't be televised, so tell me who ready to die. If downtown going up, where we at with the shits? We at the liquor store, nigga, about to get us a fill. Know they about to start looting, grab the gloves and masks. Watch out for them tanks when they rolling past, shit. <laughs> Never understand why they do it Someone cut the channel off the news before I lose it I ain't even tripping if you with it, then we lootin' Let me put this Louie in the back of Suzuki Oh, he had to break it down so smoothly They gon' say it's not about race, but we movin' Whole pile, cut the trade pound Had to put in my name, wish a nigga play now uh, Any given day, I'll be headed to the pulpit Say a little prayer, matter of fact, I need two of them Ooh, only do it, only do it Ooh, this ain't 92, so we in the new rules Niggas got hit, so we don't lose the projects. About to hit Odell with my little cousin Marcus. Someone threw a whole brick in the Neiman Marcus. Help me put the whole mannequin in the charger. You should have been downtown. The people are rising. We thought it was a lockdown. They opened the fire. Them bullets were flying. Who said it was a lockdown? Goddamn lie. So there we go. We got love lockdown. Um, and yeah, Whew. a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. Uh, and um, we're just going to keep it moving uh, right into uh, the next piece. Um, right now, I'm going to uh, be sharing a document. Like, I'm going to be a uh, Check in the chat, there will be a, a Google Doc link uh, for uh, the next poem. Um, it is by Audre Lorde. It's called A Litany for Survival. Um, 
Are, is there anyone who wants to volunteer reading it? Also, if you're planning on volunteering, just know that Lucille Clifton is also after this poem. So maybe you might want to think about that. <laughs> There's so many good words, so many good words. Um, I wanted to ask, what was the name of the artist who just, we just oh, listened to? Anderson dot P-A-A-K, Anderson Pack. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd be willing to read. Oh, sorry. Okay. Thank you, Matthew. What the thing we just wrote, right? Oh, no, yeah. uh, the the link in the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, the poem. Yeah. Fresh. It will load. So, a litany for survival. Do I just read it all? Yeah. Hi. For those of us who live at the shoreline, standing upon the constant engine edges of decision, crucial and alone, for those of us who cannot indulge the passing dreams of choice, who love in doorways coming and going, in the hours between dawns, looking inward and outward, at once before and after, seeking a now that can breed futures like bread in our children's mouth so their dreams will not reflect the death of ours. For those of us who are imprinted with fear like the faint line in the center of our foreheads, learning to be afraid with our mother's milk for by this weapon, this illusion of some safety to be found, the heavy footed hopes to silence us for all of us, this instant and this triumph, we were never meant to survive. And when the sun rises, we are afraid it might not remain. When the sun sets, we are afraid it might not rise in the morning. When our stomachs are full, we are afraid of indigestion. When our stomachs are empty, we are afraid we may never eat again. When we are loved, we are afraid love would vanish. When we are alone, we are afraid love will never return. And when we speak, we are afraid our words will not be heard nor welcome. But when we are silent, we are still afraid. So it is better to speak remembering we were never meant to survive. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for that reading. Absolutely. Um, also, totally forgot to say this. Um, while we're reading these poems, while we're looking over these poems, uh, if you have maybe a notebook with you or your laptop or somewhere other, um, if you have any lines that are like standing out to you, any lines that are like just sticking to your ribs, like write them down, you know what I mean? Just take note of them. Um, we're definitely gonna hop into a conversation uh, after uh, the next poem, just to talk about the pieces, what they have us thinking about, um, the things that we liked, even things that like, you didn't like or things that you are uh, the the things that you may have identified with right the the lines that made you say ooh right they, they gave you like a, a chemical reaction in your body right um so yeah um the next poem is going to be a jam uh the greatest jam uh and it is in the chat now, it is Lucille Clifton's Won't You Celebrate With Me. And since it's a shorty and a goodie, uh, we can have two volunteers uh, to read it. And so, you know, who would like to read this incredible poem by the incredible Lucille Clifton? I I'll see. Take it. Absolutely. Thank you, Martha. Martina. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. No Martina. Problem. Thank you, Martina. Won't you celebrate with me, Lucia Clifton? Won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into a kind of life? I had no model, born in Babylon, born non-white and woman. What did I see to be except myself? I made it up here on this bridge between sun, between starshine and clay. My one hand holding tight my other hand. Come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. Ooh, thank you, Martina. Thank you so much. Uh, is, there, is there anyone else who would like a read at this poem? 
Oh, I I see a hand. Uh, one moment. While I get to that hand, it just so happens to be Lucille Clifton herself. You know what I'm saying? So we're going we're going to hear Miss Lucille do the damn thing. Celebrate more than wish to be celebrated. Won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into a kind of life? I had no model. Born in Babylon, both non-white and woman, what did I see to be except myself? I made it up here on this bridge between starshine and clay, my one hand holding tight my other hand. Come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. Ooh, get your, get your standing out, Lucille. Get your standing out. Get your standing out. Come on, audience. Come on, crowd. Come on, claps. Oh, a time where people were allowed to be in the same room together. Woo! Right. So, boom. There it is. Oh, we have uh, Daylene. Hi, Daylene. Uh, welcome to the workshop. Uh, really quick, we had uh, some intros for folk um, when uh, we started. So, if you can say uh, your name. Uh, <laughs> now we know your name. Uh, preferred pronouns. Uh, what are you hoping to get out of the workshop? And what is something you've been doing to support yourself through the pandemic? I know it's right to the point, you know what I mean? But <laughs> no, it's <laughs> all good. Thank you so much. Um, this last poem was absolutely amazing. That line, come celebrate with me, that every day something has tried to kill me and failed. That was like uh -huh. Uh -huh. so good. Um, but yes, uh, my name is Daylene. Hi, everyone. Sorry for being late. Um, my pronouns are she, her. Um, and I'm here because I just, I love the, the idea of celebrating ourselves and, have, and just using our voices. And that's something that I've always wanted to um, just find my voice more in my writing mm -hmm. um, and use that as my biggest form of power. Mm -hmm. And something that I've done um, in this pandemic is just, trying to write as much as I can and make it as more of a discipline mm. post it and just trying to be brave enough to post as much as I can as well. Word, word. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. Thank and, you. You know what I mean? Shout out to Affirmations. Shout out to us, like, like, you know, learning it as a discipline, you know what I mean? And a practice also like be hella patient with yourself you know what I mean like woo, you know what I mean like trying to just like like I feel like when people write they like try to make it work mm. and like sometimes you just need to let it be you know what I mean and like just let it go on its own journey with it rather than trying to like wrangle it into something that you think Sounds good, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, you know, maybe some editing, whatever, 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 whatever. You know what I mean? So yeah, thank you for being here. And yeah, uh, yeah. let's let's cultivate some healthy writing practices through this workshop, you know what I'm saying? Um, so uh, yeah, um, word. What were some things that stood out to us from the Anderson Pack video to uh, the Audre Lorde poem to Lucille Clifton and Martina reading that incredible poem. Um, and what, what stood out to me was uh, Audre Lorde, but when we are silent, we are still afraid. Woo. That was, that's what really stood out to me right now. Mm -hmm. That spoke to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. uh, would you feel comfortable saying more about why that spoke to you? Uh, yeah, um, okay. I think, I mean, the things that I write about, um, being, being a trans author, trans writer, and queer, just like, I'm always afraid um, of getting it right, getting it wrong, of getting it wrong, um, 
of uh, not um, representing my community in a way that's uh, appreciated by others or like just also just all the hate out there from all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. And um, just, you know, you can get really afraid to not say anything at all, like paralyzed because mm -hmm. um, you can't please everybody. And um, mm -hmm. just, yeah, I just, I thought that was a really, I really identified with it. Right. Thank you so much for sharing that, Elliot. And like, hey, you're welcome. for sure, like, um, I think it's, I think, you know, I like me and my partner were talking about this today. Like sometimes we can like, just like, like weigh ourselves down with like concerns that aren't actually really any kind of concern. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like we can be so worried about doing something right that we miss doing it, you know? Yeah, like so, they're yeah. couple these imaginary people with these imaginary criticisms or things that they're gonna say, oh, you did this wrong and like even if I do something wrong like if something is um hurtful to someone and they can point that out to me and then I can say you know oh I'll change that you know so mm -hmm. it's just like mm -hmm. even if you're afraid of the feedback you're gonna get you, if, if you're silent you're still afraid you're mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. more afraid because you don't get that mm -hmm. you don't get to share and you're just alone yeah and um I think I think it's super important just to know that like like I, I was thinking about like this thing that my friend told me that another writer said but they were just like this sounds like hella dark but like they were like they said something like I I write as if like I'm not even here anymore like I'm not worried about audiences yeah. I'm not worried about contests I'm not worried about judges I'm not worried about editors like I'm just writing you know yeah, that's mean? freeing Right. So, you know, um, I hope that you and others in the class would also give themselves that, like that kind of permission or like, sometimes it doesn't even have to be a push. It just could just be like a little back rub. You know what I mean? Like, you guys, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, like, take a deep breath, you know, and, you know, um, just, just do what's necessary. Right. Because, because I feel like this poem also is definitely speaking, right? Like, you either do this and you're afraid or you do this and you're afraid. You either do this and you're afraid. Like you miss life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You miss life because of fear, right? And like, I know <laughs> I, I, I identify with missing life because of fear. You know what I mean? Like not taking risk, like not pushing myself, not challenging myself, not showing up. Like I remember, y'all, I was in high school for seven years because I would rather have been the kid who had all the potential and like just chose to fail rather than the kid who had potential, tried and failed. You know what I mean? Because of that fear and shame, you know what I mean? So yeah, shout out to you for, you know, just, just being here and writing. Thanks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, did, uh, what else stuck out to folks? I think the Lord poem goes along the same lines. The line stuck with me there was, we were never meant to survive. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. it speaks to what you and Elliot just said, that if that's your mindset, then, then everything you do is, is, is grace and gratis, so. Right. Right. And like, it just is like, I don't know, like, you know what I mean? It's so like, uh, and like thinking about like what a litany is, it's like, a, like, like I had to look it up, like a praise song of sorts, right? For survival, so like thinking about like, 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 what if like someone was also seeing this? You know what I mean? Like, woo, like, woo, like <laughs> chills already just thinking about somebody singing it, right? And like, you know, what is it if this is like this becomes our song that we know all the words to, mm -hmm. right? Like, what if this is what's in our headphones? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, how much more would we maybe either push ourselves to live or like? how much more would we like understand and support ourselves right mm -hmm. through fear right because like fear can be like crippling and like just like blah right <laughs> yeah and not just in our headphones it's in our heads right right so yeah yeah thank you martina thank you so much uh 
did anything else stand out to folks? What else stood out to folks? Because I know something did. <laughs> I know there's folks, but things stuck to them. Sure, I'll share something that stood out to me, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. was from the Won't You Celebrate With Me poem. Mm -hmm. It says, won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into a kind of life I had no model. Mm -hmm. I, loved, I loved that opening. And I, I found it so inspiring and just exciting that and we don't have maybe what we would want growing up or all the advantages that people can still shape lives. So I, I loved that opening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just like, like, I, like, I love anything written by Lucille, really. <laughs> and not because it's Lucille, but because it's Lucille. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like how, like, like the precision of every word every choice, every gesture, and every poem is so like, so like tight and so like good to go. <laughs> um, I, I really like, sometimes I don't have the language to talk about it just because like when I think about how good it is, um, but in so few words, she leaves us so full, right? Um, when you think about like how important it is that like, someone is just like acknowledging that like they're they they're alive you know what i mean when like people are like there's somebody inviting you to celebrate life and it's like oh we celebrating life what's what's that look like do i bring cake like is there balloons what kind of music do you play at a celebration of life you play your song you play your music you play your jam right um and you you welcome people into that right you bring your joy we, that's what we're celebrating you know what i mean um so yeah like and having no model and making it happen anyway right and like you know I'm like being told that this is how these things work right and you're like that the, that doesn't work for me <laughs> i I'm, I'm i'm not that that doesn't know right and then you 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 take on the the role of being who you need right like my brother loves this quote is like be the person the younger you needed be the person you needed when you were younger and i'm like damn like yo tiny me would love me now like you know what i mean like so you know we we all still have like just because we're older it doesn't mean that like those younger versions of ourselves aren't there anymore it doesn't mean that like just because we're older that like we're beyond or healed from certain things right just because of time right it's like time heals all wounds like yeah so does therapy so does like you know what i mean proof so does like the homies you know what i mean so you know what i mean just taking that time for yourself and just processing is super important so yeah uh prima you had turned your camera on i assume that means you wanted to share something yeah, I just wanted to say that I like the last line. I mean, uh, something has tried to kill me and has failed. So it's sort of like, you know, it's about all the challenges that we face in everyday life and then coming out of it and surviving. And that is something that, you know, we need to celebrate every day, I guess. So that's sort of like a reminder to myself. Right. <laughs> so I like that. Right. Yeah. And just like, yeah, I, I, it's so, because for me, it's like, it, it makes so much sense, but it's also often something that no one thinks about, <laughs> right? So like when we welcome ourselves to that party, to that, to that acknowledgement of life, like to, to acknowledging what, what we have survived, you know what I mean? Like however big or however small, you know what I mean? Like it, 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 it becomes like a catalyst for gratitude, right? And when you have that kind of gratitude of like the small survivals and the big survivals, right? Rather than, oh, this happened to me, right? It becomes, it happened to me and it didn't get me though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it tried, it didn't work. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, it kind of, it kind of, like I, I would imagine that, you know, it makes, it gets people hype. <laughs> it gets people hype about being alive, right? And knowing that, like, you know, there's still 
like so much opportunity like like every day is another chance to like just like be alive and be like full right and like sometimes like it's it's about making that choice right looking yourself in that mirror and being like you did that you woke up look at you waking up <laughs> like you know like, like it's so good it's so good um and um a line that i'm also thinking about that always like this looks in my ribs really like really tight is um my one hand holding tight my other hand right and i talk about this every time i like talk about this poem right so um would if, if people are able to, could you do me a favor? You don't have to do it in the camera, but can you just like notice what it looks like for you to hold your other hand really quick? Like you don't have to show me, but like, you know, just hold your other hand, however natural that is for you, right? And like, I just, I just kinda, kinda, kinda woo woo. I just kinda want you to feel that, you know what I mean? I want you to feel like the warmth that is happening, right? Want to maybe maybe you want to squeeze it a little tight. Maybe you want to squeeze your hand a little tight, right? Um, and just think about like, like you know what that is, right? Because some people can have it crossed. Some people can have their fingers crossed. Some people hold their hand like this, right, on the back, like. And I feel like sometimes that could be like, like the body's language of giving you what you need, right? So like hold your hand <laughs> like like i don't think anybody's doing like like a handshake you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i mean like it's fire if you, that's just what your body does right but i feel like so so often like like our bodies have a language of their own right um obviously there's body language right but say like when people are trying to discuss something they use their hands they're communicating with their hands right and sometimes the body is doing what words can't Right. So sometimes like, like, you know, sometimes you need to hear something, some, sometimes you need to feel something. Right. And, you know, I think it's different. Uh, what these poems are also doing for me is also, like I said, like a call to action, like, how are we doing this for ourselves? Right. How are we choosing to not be afraid? Right. Like, how are we choosing to protest? How are we choosing to fight back? Right. And how are we choosing to celebrate, right? How are we choosing to be here, right? How are we choosing to let go of like, not let go, like how are we choosing to make what has happened to us be something that like we use to like acknowledge our own strength and our own abilities, right? Um, so with that said, we're going to make some really quick list. Um, and I'm going to set a timer. And there's going to be three lists. Uh, there's going to be, uh, for time's sake, let's do a minute each. And uh, this is what we're going to do. Um, so for the first question, for the first list, uh, what are things we can do to support ourselves and our loved ones? All right, so for one minute, what are things we can do to support ourselves and our loved ones? And it's just a list, just a list of things, right? You're not trying to write a poem, not trying to make a rhyme, you're not trying to make it do anything, right? Just making a list. And one minute starts now.
Awesome. Oh, <laughs> my mic was still on. So y'all heard the timer go off. Okay, cool. Um, so for our next list, uh, one minute. Uh, you could take this however you need, but I also would say, um, when in writing workshops, I would also encourage everyone to be deliberate about the choices that they're making, right? Uh, of course, like it's really easy to just go with what feels honest and real, but sometimes what feels honest and real can be too much. Um, so maybe make another choice if something feels too heavy because the next list is what feels heavy. That's it. A list of what feels heavy. All right, time for that list is done. For our last list, uh, what feels lighter? All right, because you, you can't just have one, right? What feels heavy, what feels lighter? So we gotta have a balance. All right, also in poems, it's good to have things that you know form a texture and rub up against each other. All right, everyone. Um, now uh, that we have our list, I <laughs> I accidentally closed the document with the point. Um, so you know uh, what is so great about making lists and having lists is that you could always return to your list and write more poems, right? So I like to think of uh, the the list as toolboxes, right? and everything you put inside your list as a different tool. And these are tools that you can use to build whatever piece of writing you want, right? And uh, so yeah, when people are like, I got writer's block, I'm like, why? <laughs> right, so, um, okay. Yeah, um, okay. Um, Okay, so there is just a typo that is confusing me. Um, oh, okay, that's what it was. Okay, boom. So the prompt is 
in the chat now. Um, what is necessary for your survival and how do you maintain it? Write your own litany for survival that is a map to your fullest life. Oh, <laughs> with the camera cutting off most of my face. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the prompt. And uh, we're going to go for, you know, let's say 10 minutes, right? Um, Excuse yeah. me, can I say something before we do our writing? Sure. If you don't mind. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to share my my line that stuck out in the Litany for Survival. Oh, of course. It yes, was please. the heavy-footed hope to silence us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, uh, in spite of oppression and suppression, we could should continue to speak our truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Marilyn. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was so good. And like, whew, we should just speak our truth because like, who are we not to, right? And uh, that also reminds me of this, uh, this thing that uh, Nikki Finney had said, um, where she said, um, me not being who I am is unacceptable, right? So she was like, she was like, it was unacceptable when I was 32, 21, 18, 12, seven years old it was unacceptable for me not to be who i am right so shout out to you for bringing that up you know and speaking that truth thank you marilyn so yeah uh now we have we're gonna go for 10 minutes and uh that will be the workshop and if anybody would doesn't mind uh uh, sharing what they wrote, we can make some extra time for that. But I also want to be mindful and respectful of everyone's time, you know? So yeah, 10 minutes, go ahead.
Bye everyone. Two minutes are up. Um, uh, again, uh, that is the time that we have for today. Um, next week, same time, same link. Um, before we go, we have just a tiny grace period. Um, if anybody would like uh, to share maybe a line that they wrote or um, maybe just a takeaway from the workshop. If you're not comfortable sharing what you wrote. I'll share a line. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks mm -hmm. thanks for this. This was really lovely. Um, and I really appreciated like the three pieces and how they spoke with one another um, and carried into the list and carried into this. So thank you. Um, I wrote one line. My father is a young man with turmeric on his toes. Nice. Come on, turmeric toes. Better than Cheeto hands, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thank you, V. Uh, anyone else? Maybe I'll just share two lines or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. Of course. Um, I mean, this is uh, for what is necessary for su survival. So it's like they say it is food and water. So I ask, what about dignity, right, and respect? Mm. Absolutely. Thank you, Prima. Thank you. Yeah, so those, that's what I wrote. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Hopefully see you again next week. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, anyone okay. else? I anyone did else want to say something. Yes, I, I won't be back next week because I have my class, but um, mm -hmm. I just wanted to <clears throat> share this one line, I guess. And this was good. I, I hope I can come back and wow. figure it out. Absolutely. So um, the line that I would share would be this is the beginning of something i hope mm -hmm. assimilate and things will be different they were mm. wrong mm, they were wrong yes absolutely they were wrong yes that was so good thank you marilyn awesome uh anyone else before we go anyone else i just don't want to leave anybody out if anybody's feeling the spirit at all but if not, no pressure, absolutely fine. You know, just like to think of these as potlucks, right? We don't gotta bring a whole pan of lasagna, but you know, throw some carrots, some peas, you know what I mean? Whatever you feel like you could do. <laughs> All right, awesome. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, you. Okay, got you, Martina. Thank you so much, appreciate it. And uh, yes. Everyone, uh, have a great rest of your week. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, hopefully, uh, like Elliot just discovered Anderson Pack, and I, like in my head, like, like I, I, I keep myself from being like how, right? <laughs> but like, like I get it, right? Um, so hopefully, like this workshop exposed you to um, some new artists, some new writers that you may have not read. Um, and that you take a deep dive because this is these are all great writers, great performers, great readers, and you know, um, I forgot. Like I, I, I'm butchering this uh, Audrey Lord quote, but it was in like one of her last readings uh, in Berlin, uh, and she said this line that was like, um, uh, "Only pray laughter comes often enough to soften the edge." Right, so I'm also wishing y'all laughter, right? I'm also wishing y'all peace and warmth and tenderness, you know, whether it's coming from outside or from within, you know, I appreciate y'all, all oh, the hearts, the hearts are going up. Okay, y'all, uh, have a great rest of your week and I look forward to seeing y'all next week. Later, thanks for coming. coming. Tell your friends. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. This is great. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Later, y'all.